was not a sucker for cute packaging. I bought all of these makeup just because the packaging design was a slay. Eye candy for sure, but how do they perform? Let's start with Faye Beauty Daisy Drink Lip Balm. Apparently, these are contemporary interpretation of our favorite nostalgic childhood uh, drinks. I mainly got it for the holographic packaging design. I got two variants, Soda Pop and Choco Chuma. Soda Pop lip balm doesn't have any color here. It looks so gray and silverish. There is a slight hint of luminosity that actually looks very good in natural lighting. Gotta be honest, I used to be very inconsistent with protecting my lips, you know, with sunscreen. I only have two lip balm sunscreen that I never reach out to. They either have a weird smell or taste or they feel so greasy and oily on my lips that I just hate the feeling of these greasy, oily lip balm sunscreens. Yes, it comes with a decent protection of SPF 20 plus. The formula is very lightweight and feels cushiony on my lips, neither thick nor oily and just feels like a nicely formulated, rich lip balm. The perfect consistency and I don't use it at night. Okay, personal preference, I strictly only use Vaseline on my lips before going to the bed. I have sensitive skin and the formula did not break me out. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought the quantity would be way less, but I don't know. I use it all times during the day and the quantity seems fine. Faye had a variety of other options, so I thought I would get myself a tinted lip balm. I'm in a place where I don't reach out to drying liquid lipsticks or matte lipsticks anymore. I normally wear uh, tinted lip balms, lip and cheek tints, K-beauty tints, matte tints, watery tints, watery jelly tints. Basically just any lightweight matte or glossy lip products. I got Choco Chuma variant because it has a brown tint in it. They had other colors as well. <laughs> it did not pass the vibe check for me, okay? Yellow color, green color, like what? Choco Chuma smells like chocolate and tastes like stevia added chocolate drink. It has like, you know, the taste of heavy heavy stevia the color reminds me of black honey it is a brown based tint with the slightest hint of maroon in it to my eyes it's giving black honey i usually don't use it as a lip balm i use it as like a makeup product like a glowy lipstick i found soda pop to be more hydrating and moisture retaining than choco chuma soda pop lasted around three to four hours on my lips choco chuma dries down after one hour or so to me this is more like a shiny tinted lip balm or like a glowy lipstick i have dry lips and choco chuma dried up in an hour or so and it left a very cute um not so opaque brown tint i used two layers to get this much opacity obviously i'm using a very thin liquidy lip balm if i don't want the color to bleed i use a lip liner like this one from mars cosmetics to line my lips waxy lip liner formula will sort of act like a border so liquid based glosses or lip balms won't bleed outside my lip line it's giving retro it's giving the 90s i love this look Another way I use the tinted lip balm is with a watery lip tint. This is a combo that I recently kind of fell in love with. I used the Etude House Dear Darling tint in PK002, which is like a bright beetroot color. I actually got it for free when I was shopping at Macron. I just lather the tint and I don't care if the application is even or not. I mask the color with this tinted lip balm and now it looks so potent, so juicy and glowy. I'm so sorry bro, 2023 is my year full of glowy, glossy and glassy lips. Look how beautiful that is. The beetroot color tint kind of was like a little too bright for my liking and the brown in the tinted lip balm kind of toned it down. Even though I got these just for the packaging design, I ended up liking it and I will probably repurchase them. I'm definitely vibing with the whole plastic packaging era. It's sleek, it's minimal and looks very modern. I recently got the Mars Cosmetics Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. I only got it for the packaging but fell in love with the actual product itself, especially this particular color. This is in variant 01. I got 01 because it had these two colors, baby pink and black glitter. I don't own 
baby pink glitter and especially black glitter. The palette has your usual colors along with uh, one duochrome glitter. This baby pink one shifts to green color. I wore this pink and green duochrome glitter in my last video and one of you asked me if it's from Unleashia, which it's not. It's from Mars Cosmetics. These glitters, especially the pink duochrome, is definitely giving me Darwin and K-Beauty makeup vibes. Very elegant and very princess-like. Very modern take on pressed glitters. The glitter itself isn't chunky and feels very lightweight. I actually felt nothing on my eyelids. I do own chunky glitters and they aren't as smooth as I like them to be. It's giving old school 2016 Instagram era. These seem way too modern and like an updated version of these pressed glitter eyeshadow you know, that we used to use back then, looks so smooth and feels smooth. These also lasted pretty long. I had it for about four to five hours and they did not move. I used uh, like a micellar water to remove the glitter. I give them nine out of 10 and yeah, the baby pink glitter is my favorite and my most used one. I'm always on Pinterest and something that I always stumble upon are these printed packaging design on lipstick love child by masaba reminded me of you know those lipsticks that i always see on pinterest lux matte lipstick in the shade 11 burfi they do have a variety of nudes and mauves but i couldn't find much that could uh, suit my skin tone that was kind of surprising because masaba herself has dusky skin I don't know. Packaging is a slave. Barfi is a dark chocolatey brown shade. The finish is demi matte, but again, if you want your lipstick to look soft matte, here's a trick. I always follow instead of swiping your color back and forth, I would just dab it till I'm satisfied with the opacity. It looks very cloudy, it looks very soft, and you know, instead of shiny and just your regular lipstick, I guess. I love this trick. It's foolproof and it literally looks like one of those K-Beauty soft matte lipsticks. So the formula is demi matte, so it's not really transfer proof. I actually got this one on sale a couple of months back. I haven't used it yet because, you know, it's still bright outside. I'm gonna wait till the end of August or, you know, September to rock this color. I give this 7 out of 10. I just wish they had more nude colors that flatter darker skin. Love the packaging, but I still think it's a bit expensive. Did I waste my money or it's just another good old episode of retail therapy? I also have products that I got solely for the packaging and ended up hating it. Let me know if you want to see that as well. Subscribe and like if you want to see me more. I'll see you later. Bye guys.